Uh, it's Jeff down at the guitar shop and uh, doing a series of videos specifically here on choosing a guitar pick or a plectrum as called in British English. Uh, I'm, this is the second in a series of this specific guitar pick to choosing one. The first one, uh, what I did is I covered on a, on a triple zero uh, or an odd time style finger picking more guitar. Um, today, on this specific video, what I want to cover is more of a different format of guitar. This is for a jumbo size guitar and um, this is also a, a maple guitar. So the maple has a lot brighter sound uh, on, the, on the mediums, it'll highlight the mediums as well, more than the, um, more than the, the, the bass sounds. So again, I want to cover, go, read the, watch the first one so you can kind of get why each specific pick has a, a sound or stuff. But I want to, I'm going to give the same here now on a different size guitar and the different wood, which will affect how your playing is. Now, again, um, it's important that a jumbo guitar is not really made for finger picking, unlike the one I did before. This is guitar is really made for strumming. Uh, this is really what it's made good at. So let's go take that really thin 38 millimeter uh, pick here, and let's try it again. And we're going to get on this one. That, that plastic of this the very thin pick is going to come out. Now let's come back to the medium. This is a, this is a 60 um, a meter here. So all right. Now if we want to come to that really thick pick, like one and a half millimeters, this one's going to here is going. Now that metal, that copper pick, uh, what this is going to get now? The copper, again, this guitar is, an, is, a, is a maple guitar, uh, so it's going to already have bright, and this copper is going to give another brightness to it. So we're going to kind of see how this comes out. Uh, these are the other, unlike the plastic ones. So. goes well with this maple type of wood. Um, so I won't go over all every single, uh, uh, each of the different size picks here that we got here. We'll just get here. It does change here if we're, if we're gonna play in the middle ones I did before. But if I play here, so that plays a lot. And here even, here you can look more bass sound. You can play it here a little bit. And uh, let's come back now, the, like I said, this guitar is really made, I'm going to come back to like the middle one, this guitar is specifically made for, uh, uh, again, the, uh, the, a large style, this jumbo is made for really playing hard, so I'm going to kind of play a little bit here. And I can do that, whereas if I try to do that with a thin pick, it's not going to be as good. Uh, well, uh... That's really if you just want to play hard but not get much sound. Uh, now I want to come to the uh, come to these finger picks. This, <clears throat> the thumb picks, I'm sorry. Uh, again, these are made for uh, mainly thumb, finger picking, finger style. Again, this guitar is not necessarily a finger style guitar. You can do it. But it's not the kind of the, the thing that highlights or emphasizes on this specific time of guitar. So I'll go ahead and do it. It, it sounds okay. Uh, it does. It, it's it's it, it will ring. But the the really good thing of this type of style of guitar is going to be more of the uh, playing with those 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 uh, flat picks. So hopefully that'll give you an idea of the, again, the, the style, the jumbo style, what it gives, how it sounds with different size picks. Uh, the, at least for me, that metal pick goes really well with this type of guitar because of the attack. You can attack it hard, and I'll just one more time here, you can attack it really hard. Um,
maple sound will, will, will respond. The metal pick uh, get, highlights those those highs, uh, and then it doesn't sh it doesn't it won't slip on your fingers. Now the only thing you have to be careful with because of the, the, the mix is this pick. If, you, if you're written it harder, especially with one like this, you can scrape it up. So uh, scrape up the, the wood here, even the hole. I've had a guitar that I actually ate away the, the, the sound hole. This kind of guitar I really suggest, if you don't have a pick guard, is to get one of those cling free uh, electric static pick guards and put them on here. You can take them on and take off. I've got those on a couple of guitars, especially if you're playing with a metal pick. And put it as close to the sound hole as you can, uh, especially for these types of cars where they're going to be beautiful and the, the, it'll just it'll resonate with the, with the high, the mediums and the, and the main highs. Okay? Thanks.